Hold a bullet in 10 yards to Levi. Won't even shoot it. Every year we've been blessed to chase bulls 40 days straight in multiple states. This year we're kicking it all off on the wild coast of Oregon for opening day. Trevor, Steve, and myself will be taking out Andy Morgan and Levi Morgan. We're in search of a genuine, true Roosevelt experience. We will be joined by our mutual friend and a good buddy of mine, Matt Elliott. If somehow that you've lived under a rock and don't know who Levi or Andy Morgan are, then let me introduce him. Levi is known as the best competition shooting archer ever to live. He's dominated the podium for decades and is even a better man. Andy is one of the most successful anglers in the history of competition bass fishing. He's a three-time angler of the year, and I think it's safe to say that both of these guys can seal the deal under pressure. So after meeting these guys and spending just a short time with them, we can already tell that these are our kind of people. We've had history with this giant bull for the last three years that we named Dale. Hopefully it's time to put it to rest. Opening day of season, the love triangle. Brought a bull into Levi Morgan at nine yards. It's not bad. All right guys, sorry to interrupt, but real quick, if you want a chance to come hunt with us, click this card right here. We're doing a huge giveaway. I can't believe it, dude. Is this heaven, right? This is it, right? This is... I'm so happy. Hey, I'm like a, I'm like a young donkey in a tin barn, son. <laughs> I'm the uh, we're getting all set up with the uh, calls from Born and Race. It's got a new sweet bugle tube. I'm gonna try to learn some stuff from these guys. Then if you wanna go super quiet, so that's how we designed this, is to take it out of yeah. the aluminum, cause that's gonna make it super loud, yeah. like calf. <laughs> I'll run down there about a hundred yards and bugle back. Right, perfect. 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 After all that, we decided whose group is going to actually go hunt Dale himself. What if we hunted together? I wouldn't. I just wouldn't want to pile of guys. Nine. A lot of sand. people. It's a lot of dudes. Ten people. Ten guys. People. Yeah. It's a Ten lot guys. of dudes, man. And but at Eight the same time, I want to put. I want to put, he is short. If we all put these in our mouth and just, just. So, yeah, let's just go with that game plan. Let's uh, go off on the other end and dump in, and then another team will come on this end, dump in, and we'll just. Convert in the middle of car body? Yeah, because each team, I think, I think the better. big thing is going to be, like, if the wind's wrong, don't force it. Yeah, yeah 100%. And then the if one, the wind's bad, don't force yeah, it. The back other out. team will be an advantage, and we just stay back. Because yeah. we mm -hmm. think there's elk down in there. There's high percentage oh. there being elk down there. Yeah. Dale would be target bull. He's number one. Numero uno. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Big right. Dale. Big Dale. Yeah. That's yeah. who we're yeah. after. Big Dale. Yeah. Big Dale plan. You haven't assigned team one, team two yet. No. Let's play arrow roulette. <laughs> <laughs> or we could have a shoot off if you guys want to. <laughs> a hundred yard shoot off. There we go. With who? Coin <laughs> but what are we shooting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. No, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Levi likes that idea. I think this is a terrible <laughs> idea, actually. I don't know. I, I can shoot toward good. the target. Levi hits the target. <laughs> okay. Okay. 100 sounds excessive. Sounds pretty good. 120, then. Oh. <laughs> I just lost him. Let's just do a flip. Okay. All right, I like that better. Anybody got a coin? Okay, we're going credit card. Credit card Ooh. flip. <laughs> I'm not mad at you, sir. You get a close-up on that. Social in there? All I have is a floss. Oh, you have a black card. That's cool. Yeah. Credit wow. card flip. Wow. And flex. That was a flex. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Where's heads? Where's it's tails? It's a business card, man. It's not even mine. <laughs> it doesn't even belong to me. I found this in a I'm parking lot. I'm just borrowing it. All right. Hold just on a second. Hold on. Oh, what do we got? Montana knife sheath. Okay. That's heads. That's tails. There you go. That's not weighted properly. No. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Wow. This is there is a lot going worry. into this flip. John. If uh, you draw orange, you're team one. If you draw blue, Trent's team one. Okay. Okay. I'm so nervous right now. He's digging My deep. heart's beating so fast. <laughs> <laughs> orange, Trent's orange. team one. All right. So team one, team two. <gasps> right. So okay. he's All orange, right. he's blue. You and Trent. All right. I hope you like Elf. Trevor and Levi. <laughs> I hope you like Elf. <laughs> 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 I'm good for my belly. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Oh, okay. So, so then, we're team two. 
Yep. All yep. right. Team two. Okay. Well, we can we can move at a higher pace. Oh. oh <laughs> yeah. Right. Take like, some time, yes. guys. <laughs> <laughs> we get down there swearing <laughs> off of it. You feel good plan. about it? Like we'll come it. in from the top here. You guys will swing around. We'll yeah. both drop in, meet in the middle, and then uh, try to get in touch with calling. I think we'll run Sounds into good. each other after. We'll, we'll hear each other at some point. Mm. Two bulls down by 10, 10 a.m.? We have two be, bulls down by 10 a.m. Awesome. Wouldn't it be awesome? That's a lot of work. Be a good day. We're going to burn the nearest town to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> we made dinner that night and got ready for another exciting day. Good morning, guys. Daylight is coming upon us. It is the first day of elk season, and we're super excited to bring this to you guys. We got two special people in camp. Uh, we're looking for a couple specific elk. We've been tracking this bull we call Dale. He's a seven by seven. He's giant. And uh, he finally showed up on camera yesterday. So confidence is high. We're gonna get the boots on and hit the road. Stick with us. We're gonna have some fun. I just don't He's see even got lasting. the pose for it. <laughs> Whatever it might be. I see that fall. Tiny, <laughs> tiny little piece of brush, and that's gone. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you so much for today, for friends, for just new new relationships that we're building out here, and just please help us to base it around that and uh, the fun of this hunt. We love you. Thank you so much for another season. We made it this far. and Push us on, and please help our families at home to know that we're having the times of our lives. Love you so much. Thanks for this creation. Amen. 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 This is going to give us wings. We may need them. We split into our two groups and headed out. Uh, Trevor's been watching a five-point in here, so if we can find him first. Steve and the other boys went around to their spot. Shocking my right butt cheek as we speak. 
it hurts so good. Dave, Steve just sent a text and said they got a bull bugling coming their way. They're in position, so we're just kind of all sitting around like checking our phones constantly, getting trying to get an update. Trent, Steve, Andy, talk to me. Where are you at? Go time. More paints, huh? Go time. <laughs> we got opening day. Look, 2023 bow season. Jacked up? I'm jacked. Yes. Andy Martin, I'm out <clears> there. <throat> Rednecks go north today. Rednecks headed north. Rednecks headed north. Guys, welcome to the land of the free. It's gonna be a doozy. Made it out to this landing out here. We can hear an elk down below us. It sounds like elk anyway. Way down in the bottom. We're just still kind of See, the sun's just kind of starting to come up, so we want these thermals to change before we do anything. But if we can get a real good pinpoint on where they're at, then we can kind of make a better game plan. Andy's jacked up. I am jacked up. <laughs> I'm not going to show it. I'm not going to show my car, but I'm jacked up. We are dropping into the bottom. We're going to drop down. We're just going to do some cold calling on our ways down, so we're going to be running and gunning on them. Maybe a bench or something. Drop down. I'm just gonna set up, do some calling. We got a bugle. Yeah, we do. We're just trying to pinpoint where he's at. But where we think he is, we got good wind. First bugle of the season. Didn't see that coming. Right now it's really tough with the topography and how dense it is to see exactly where it came from. Cause it's bouncing off of different walls and canyons and stuff. So we're just gonna try to move towards it so we can really pinpoint it and then we're gonna make a, a decision on what to do. It bugled again, we're just trying to pinpoint it right now. In this super dense stuff, it's really hard to tell exactly where the bugles are coming from. So we're just trying to really play slow here so where we can actually get a pinpoint where this thing came from. He's over here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, he might just come right around here, and, but I mean, we'll still have to call him to get the shot. But like a Roosevelt, like that kind of stuff, when Roosevelts are bugling on their own, it's a really, really, really good thing. <laughs> it's hard to say. He's definitely moving. You go ahead, Stephen. We'll just follow you. you. I'll be in the back. Um, Andy, you go behind Steve. Bull just bugled again. He's down below us. We got a pretty good pinpoint, I think, on him. Drop in just to kind of see what we've got for terrain here for calling. Maybe throw a few cow throw a few cow calls first and see if he, if he screams to that. Once we got within a couple hundred yards, we sound checked the bull and couldn't get him to respond anymore. After cold calling at the last known location of the bugling bull, we decided to keep covering ground to relocate him. After Trevor's group morning hunt ended with a bullless herd, they decided to drop into the opposite end of the canyon that group A is in. Trail and then we'll just 
slip through right alongside of it. saw some elk, we heard some bugles, and uh, we got nine yards to that spike, so uh, all in all, pretty good day, so glad you guys are following along, we'll see you tomorrow. The next video guys, we continue to hunt with Levi and Andy on the Oregon coast chasing these awesome rose belts. By the end of it, we may even have a bull down. Please stay tuned, it's a good one.